Hey again everyone, this is a in-depth review of the through axle adapter by Thule. If you have disc brakes, if you need a through axle for to attach your bike trailer to a disc brake bike, this video is important for you. This little adapter here is, in my opinion, the best adapter out there for several reasons, which I'll get into, but also there are a few things that I don't like about it and that I wish that Thule and but the bike trailer industry in general would change, but here we are. So this adapter here is really going to be needed if you are trying to attach a, if you if your bike has a through axle of 12 millimeters in diameter. The issue is that the, the through axle doesn't usually fit through the coupler attachment that comes with the bike trailer. So you actually have to go and get one of these, especially if you have a Thule bike trailer. If you have a Burley bike trailer or a Schwinn bike trailer or Instep bike trailer, then this through axle, through axle adapter will, will actually work, but there, in many cases, you probably might not need to get an adapter if you have a Burley or Schwinn or Instep bike trailer because the, the, uh, the through axle will actually fit through the coupler system in many cases. But if you have a Thule bike trailer, then you absolutely do need to get a through axle in order to attach it to a through axle disc brake bike. So this one right here I got from Amazon for about $60. They sell them on Amazon. So the few really good things that Thule does with their through axle, number one is that it's, they have the most versatile and varied selection in terms of sizes of through axles that they have. And they all sell them on Amazon. And there's basically every size you could possibly need for a through axle for a disc brake bike. You know, as you know, through axles have many different sizes, including how long they are, how 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 big they are in diameter, and actually the thread pitch, which is the the distance between every tiny little uh, thread here <laughs> on the through axle. So you have to measure those three things. Uh, just to reiterate, there's the length of it, <clears throat> which is from here to here. There's the diameter of the axle, which is most likely 12 millimeters. Almost all cases is 12 millimeters. And then there's the thread pitch, which is the distance between each little pitch thing, each little thread here thing. So there are a few ways to find those. Um, the, best, the best way to find your measurement, uh, I put a little, uh, little guide for you guys that I put together just to figure out exactly how and how to measure and how to find the the measurements on your through axle. I put it in the description. I'm going to put a, a helpful little guide for you guys. So be sure to check that out. And you can actually go to that link and find all the, the necessary links to, to buy and purchase the exact through axle adapter that you need for your situation. Um, that's really where you need to go to find that. But you can also check on the, the inside of the through of your through axle on your bike. Sometimes it'll actually say all three of those measurements right there. And you can just check that out there. And the other thing that I really like about this is that it's it's sturdy, it's really strong, uh, it's not going to break. It's versatile. They sell it on Amazon, easy. And the main thing I don't like about this whole through axle thing, guys, is you probably <laughs> have the same frustrations I do. Is that I really don't like that they're selling them for sixty bucks a pop. You know, it's like you invest in a bike trailer, you know, somewhere from two hundred, three hundred dollars to a thousand plus dollars. And I feel like by now, the bike trailer industry should have already been able to figure out how to make a coupler attachment that works well with through axles as well as quick release skewers. But they haven't yet, and I think the only, sorry, the only, <laughs> the only industry uh, trailer that has, has made improvements on their coupler is Schwinn in Instep, which is the same company, but they've made an improvement uh, in their coupler in 2016, they upgraded it so that they made a bigger hole so that you can just pass a through axle through it. Also, Burley updated their coupler uh, in recent years. Thule hasn't done it. I mean, the reality is like the hole that they provide on the coupler is just too small. It's not gonna even fit. You can't even attempt to to ride with a through axle bike on that. So, you know, given that Thule is such an expensive high end, really the highest end brand, brand that there is, I kind of expect them to, to do something for us, you know, to, to make it more versatile instead of investing so much money in making uh, these adapters. I think they should just really revamp their system, revamp, revamp their hitch attachment, and just make it easier for us. So something I don't really like about that they're, they're making us buy, <laughs> basically we have to, if you have a through axle bike, you have to get one of these, you know, it's kind of a monopoly. So 
Uh, but if, if you need to get it, just check out that guide down below. That's everything you need to do. Also check out the website. You know, everything, this channel is all about how to make biking part of your life, you know. Did you know that half of all car rides in America are under four miles? Under four miles, guys. Four miles is easily bikeable. There's no reason on planet Earth that we shouldn't be biking for distances under four miles. That's half of all car rides. <laughs> In the United States are under four miles. Imagine the impact if we just all decided to to take the bike instead of drive and smash the like button on this video so that more people <laughs> can find it. No, I'm ser in, in all seriousness, you know, this is really where we're trying to just share this information more. I've been making biking part of my life for for the last five years, five six years, and it's just changed my my life. It's allowed me to save tons of money. Uh, allowed me to it really change my health. Help me lose weight. Help me help my heart pump blood more efficiently and help my thyroid so there's so many benefits to biking and if we just get this message out more to, to it's just like it's insane there's no reason we should shouldn't be biking distances under four miles three miles two miles it's insane so give it a like if this video is helpful also check out that guide below uh yeah nice talking to you take care